in the vacuum chamber is really difficult at the moment. Okay. So maybe silly question, but like, why didn't you take hydrogen uh, to test what yeah. is going to be used for hydrogen yeah, later yeah, anyway? It would be a good idea because you run it with hydrogen. Anyway. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. The problem is if you use hydrogen, to use 100% hydrogen is difficult, very yeah. difficult because of exploding areas and so on. Okay. Then you can use, for example, um, the, we call it forming gas. This mm -hmm. is 95% nitrogen, 5% hydrogen. Yeah. But then you have to take a much lower leak rate. Yeah? So we have 10% helium, then yeah. it's only 5, so you have to go lower and lower. Okay. And to use hydrogen in the vacuum chamber is not possible today in, a, in this certain way with this leak rate. Ah, okay. In a certain way it's possible, yeah, because you, will not, you, get, you don't, don't get this, this hydrogen background. Mm -hmm. It's always higher than you want to test. Okay. Ah, so, so this is where we are working at the moment, yeah. but 10 minus 4, there's maybe the limit. You can do it by sniffing, but in, this, in under atmosphere level, but... In the vacuum chamber, it's really difficult at the moment. Okay, so that means especially in these fields of, of leak rates. Okay, so you, if you want, you know, the re reliability and everything that we need, then hydrogen is not the best thing to use to test. The, not, the today. not today. Not today. Hopefully, the, the developments are getting forward, and so yeah. that we get the possibility to use it because helium is expensive. Yeah. it's not endless. Yeah. So hydrogen would be a good solution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, as I said, 95% hydrogen, 5% hydrogen mm -hmm. mixture, leak so, rates. Yeah, so as I think you've said one word that I also wanted to ask you again. So you know, in terms of expense, so I know that helium is an expensive uh, gas. Yes. Yeah, and uh, you use it <laughs> for testing. Unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what? So you 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 know you create the zero vacuum, then you blow it into one of the 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 channels essentially, mm -hmm. and then uh, you take it out again. What happens? Do you then blow that same helium into another one? Or, no, it's or, it's gone. Unfortunately, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. That's so why we use only ten percent. Ah, yeah? So we have okay. this mixture. We have the yeah. mixing unit. Yes. And there uh, we we mix it from to 90% air, 10% helium, yeah, because yeah. this 10% are gone. They yeah. are going out to the exhaust and that's, that's it. Yeah. You can also use an, a recovery unit, mm -hmm. then, but that's also only 90%, so in the end it's the same result. Okay, okay. So there's, yeah. So essentially that gets ejected? 10% uh, are gone, yeah. Okay. That's, unfortunately, Just yeah. out of curiosity, that goes into the air? In the into the air, yeah. You have oh, yeah. to bring it out of the factory hall where you have your machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because you don't want to... Uh, have helium everywhere. Yeah, have helium everywhere to, yeah, yeah. to bring it, yeah, to, to, to uh, influence your measurements, yeah. That's okay. why you have to bring it outside. Okay, so that means essentially away. in this process you are using a bit of helium as you, as you go along. Yeah, okay. Yeah.